thought we might do this evening, Birmingham. Obviously, you've all come out to see the show this evening. I'm very grateful for that. I love my job. I love the fact you come out and see me live. But we're all sort of friends here, and you've bought tickets to come and see me at the show. So I tend not to get heckled in the way that I used to get heckled when I used to play the clubs. When I used to play the clubs, you were unannounced. The, you know, the venue was bigger than, than the name, so people would come along, they wouldn't be invested. If they didn't like it, they would shout rude things out. I used to love that, proper aggressive heckling. I thought, well, why don't we? Because yeah, people tend not to do it at these kind of gigs because people don't want to fuck up the evening for themselves or for anyone else. <laughs> Hold your horses just one second. <laughs> people tend, one notable exception, people tend not to want to fuck the gig up. But I thought it's quite nice, it's quite a fun thing, heckles. So why don't we have a heckle amnesty, a little two, three minutes where you can just fill your boots. If you've got something abusive to shout, <laughs> have at it. <laughs> Have you actually got Tourette's? That was, that was so quick. <laughs> Can't fuck bum. And fuck bum, that's such a weird thing to shout. Fuck bum. Like the rudest words you know. Fuck cunt bum. Any other heckles? What, sorry? Peter K was sold out, so you had to come here. <laughs> Unlucky. I bet he wouldn't have called you a cunt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not Peter Kay. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> it's a very different kind of show. Peter's show's good too. <laughs> You're sniggering. What's your name, blonde lady? Who... Move along? <laughs> what are you saying, Vicky? Dance for me, monkey boy. <laughs> Is he your fella? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? He's either your fella or he isn't. Is he, Is he your fella? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, she's saying yes. <laughs> And you're saying no, and kind of you're just look, you've gone really red and you look really embarrassed. <laughs> They're fuck buddies. <laughs> oh! I see what, how very modern. <laughs> how very 2005. So you're not going out with each other, but you are fuck buddies. <laughs> that is fantastic. Can we just all take a moment to, you know, congratulate that man there? <laughs> He's, a lot of work has gone into that. A lot of work has gone into that. He's had to buy a Cosmopolitan for a couple of years. <laughs> Sorry? My parents are going to watch this. And they'll know that you're a dead little hussy. <laughs> The great thing about that is that he's convinced you that, yeah, we don't need a relationship. It's so... <laughs> it's so old-fashioned. I should be able to sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. And so should you, as long as it's just me. <laughs> when I say... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of jokes. <laughs> it's not every day I get to talk to a slag. Come on. <laughs> Now, I don't know where the mark is until I overstep it. That's my... <laughs> you just did. <laughs> that is juvenile. That, sorry, for those of you that didn't see that, it'll be on the DVD. <laughs> available at all good car boots. <laughs> Vicky's response to that, yeah, she's been called a slag at a show. That's not good in anyone's book, and I apologise for that unreservedly. But did you really need to do that? <laughs> God bless you. The most annoying thing my sister does is that show Chatty Man. <laughs> That's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in, I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun. But the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, it's always, invariably it's the same thing, it's always, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Where's Alan? <laughs> Who's at your house fucking your dad? <laughs> I think 
we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. <laughs> I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. And then one brave soul over there said, no. I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or rather, your dad is. <laughs> of course, not all gay people are happy, camp and fun. Some of them are lesbians. <laughs> if you're a lesbian and you didn't find that funny, you're surprising no one. <laughs> what, sorry? <laughs> Posh prick. <laughs> Posh prick seems a bit harsh. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your name, sir? Miles. <laughs> Miles. And you think I might be a bit posh? <laughs> All right, Miles. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Seems like the fairest way to deal with this. <laughs> Here's some B L U E. Number between one and eight, Miles. Four. Four. All right. Ooh. It says if you've come as a cunt, you've won. <laughs> bit of good news. <laughs> Any other oh. ultimate sexual fancies? A Viking helmet. A Viking helmet? <laughs> what have you got? Two vaginas? <laughs> Good, lovely. Any other ultimate sexual fantasies? Schoolgirl. Schoolgirl? Yeah. And then you've pointed at your man. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a, we've got a special term for a schoolgirl fantasy now. <laughs> we call it <laughs> pedo. <laughs> Sorry, sir, do you like what do you like? Schoolgirl teacher? Sch Schoolgirl, though, really. <laughs> yeah, no, because the specialist term for the schoolgirl uniform. Yeah, it's a, you, you are a pedo. <laughs> it's no, it's good. Look at the positive. You get to be on a list. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Everyone in the neighborhood knows where you live. That's convenient, isn't it? Do you make her dress up as a schoolgirl? She's done it. <laughs> <laughs> She's done it. <laughs> Have her washed and brought to my room. I'm joking. Don't wash her. I love swearing. I've always quite... Oh, you all right? Sorry, what was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear. <laughs> now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button. It's gone all interactive. What, <laughs> what, what were you saying? <laughs> Go on, say it. You thought you. <laughs> she just said, I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. <laughs> yeah. What, what happened was. <laughs> okay, in a joke, a joke is like two stories, yeah? <laughs> and the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snake bite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But. but he, <laughs> That's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline, <laughs> what, you'll, what you'll find is that rug will be, will be whipped from under you and you'll realise that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is, is the nature of all one-liners, Badham. So in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you, <laughs> And also the drink. <laughs> no problem at all, it's lovely to help. <laughs> it's actually it's nice to have you here this evening, because I think one of the charity gigs I did helped pay for the minibus that brought you here. <laughs> so, nice to see that money wasn't wasted. <laughs> Oh, bless her little heart. Uh, what are you making of the rest of the show? Are you just enjoying the spangly things? <laughs> what is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that, sir? A little bit louder?
no, that was fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? What, what, sorry? Toby. Toby. Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. <laughs> what, sorry? Stop stalling. Stop stalling. <laughs> don't panic, sir. <laughs> I've got this. I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Uh, Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. <laughs> Fatty boom batty blubber naught. She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. True story. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Gary. Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the fuck is that? Well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> and so your comment there is, I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. <laughs> it's not like I come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out your mouth, is it? <laughs> weird thing from a quite a tough looking man from Glasgow to say. Oh, you've not made much of an effort. <laughs> I thought you'd be dressed up prettier. <laughs> it's a little bit prison rape coming from you, sir. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> um, any other? <laughs> Sorry, sir, could you just repeat what you said there? She's on the blob. <laughs> How nicely put, sir. I think... <laughs> I think a lesser man might have said menstruation. <laughs> or her time of the month, or maybe period. <laughs> Even Arsenal are playing at home, or... <laughs> she has the red devil in her belly. <laughs> Up on bricks. <laughs> but you went with a, the much more genteel. <laughs> on the blob! <laughs> She's on the blob, and she? I think in all seriousness, if a woman says, look, I can't have sex, I've got my period, I would say, well, your ass isn't bleeding, is it? <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Give me a moment to work my magic. <laughs> my crisps tasted rubbish. <laughs> I became Latino there for a second. <laughs> no, you're there. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had crisps. Did you see? I had crisps. Jimmy Con Carney crisps. The good people are walkers for comic relief. They brought out a flavour of my crisps, and it was me and Al Murray and Frank Skinner and Stephen Fry. And then they made these crisps, and every packet they sold, they gave five pence to the starving people in Africa. And I said to them, why don't you just send them the fucking crisps? <laughs> got to make more sense, hasn't it? Because they can't be as fussy about the flavours. <laughs> if you're starving, you're fine, aren't you? Well, these are a bit... Nah, fair enough. <laughs> Any other ultimate sexual fantasies? My girlfriend. My girlfriend. <laughs> well, maybe we could double-team her. <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? 
I'm not going to swap if that's okay. <laughs> Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, <laughs> and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like the way as well, I suggested your girlfriend wasn't good looking enough, and you applauded. <laughs> yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? <laughs> When's the comedy on? When's the comedy? Really? What's your name, sir? Uh, I remember. <laughs> What's your name? David. David? Yeah. What's your favourite colour, David? Blue. Blue, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the fairest way to deal with you, David. There are so many things I could say. Number between one and eight, David. Six. Six. Okay, and you said to me, when's the comedy on? <laughs> well, it, says, it says, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> These things don't lie, David. These things don't lie. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. She swallowed the lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've read an article recently about British men's ultimate sexual fantasy. And it surprised me. The results of it surprised me. It was a proper survey. They asked 3,000 men their opinion. I'd like to do a little straw poll in here this evening because the results of this, I was shocked. Ultimate sexual fantasy. Has anyone got one they wouldn't mind admitting to? Jessica Arbor. Jessica Alba, it's a specific person that you, that you would like to bone. Well, I happen to know Jessica Alba does an awful lot of work for charity, maybe... <laughs> Who the fuck has a side part in? <laughs> You're gonna kick yourself when I tell you. Me. <laughs> well, I thought I'd kick off with some jokes, Glasgow, go not fuck about too much. I'll pause for breath and say hello. How are you this evening, Glasgow? Are you well? <laughs> like an angry mob. <laughs> bloody, well, I thought we'd kick off properly. We're in a beautiful room, the Armadillo in Glasgow. Bloody marvellous. I thought we'd, we'd start things properly, yeah? Because everyone's dressed up. It's a Saturday night. Let's start things properly. Let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of Yeah, let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. That's, actually, that's, that's probably enough. Looking round, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> Come on in, sit down. What's your name, madam? Alexa. Alexa. And what, what is it, some sort of cystitis? What's the matter? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Alexa? Um, lots of things. You do lots of things? Yeah. I think I've seen a card advertising your services. <laughs> Are you new in town? Go on, sir. Don't let me guess. So, I'm an aspiring presenter. You're an aspiring presenter? Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'll say to you what I say to all aspiring presenters that I meet. I'll have an Americano, please. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love my job. Um, I literally don't have a big nose. <laughs> that's a weird hat. That's like an insult you've heard someone else use. And you've gone, that got a big fucking laugh. That's going to work best with a comic with a big nose. What's your name, sir? Thomas. What do you do, Thomas? You're a student. What are you studying? Uh, mathematics. <laughs> are you at school, Thomas? <laughs> I don't know if we should continue this any further, because it's starting to feel like grooming. <laughs> Are you at school? Yeah, I'm at school. <laughs> you got a big nose. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> any other heckles? <laughs> oh, what was that? That sounded good. Go on, what was that? <laughs> what was it? 
I'm a paedophile. <laughs> I was just fucking chatting to him. I've done nothing. <laughs> Are there any lesbians in? <laughs> no, my gay dar is pretty much honed in on this, this pair down there. Hello, how are you two? You all right? Yeah. Are, are you, I presume you're a couple? Married. Yes. You're married? Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Fabulous. How long have you been married? Since October. Since October? My God, it's new and fresh. <laughs> have you even finished consummating the relationship? No. You don't know when you're finished, do you? That's one of the problems <laughs> with your lifestyle choice. We'll just put that on hold. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well, so you're married, you're committed to each other. Well, it's maybe a crazy question to ask you because you're in this long-term relationship and you love each other, but what would it take to get you back on solids? <laughs> <laughs> She's a definite no and you're a maybe. OK, good. <laughs> Oh, I love my job. I tell you what, I'm going to do a test and see whether we've got any other sisters in the, in the room, see if there's any other lesbians. Sisters. Like I'm a lesbian, I've got the haircut, come on. <laughs> I look a bit like KD Lang, I could get away with it. <laughs> Bestiality. <laughs> well, easy, easy, let's just think this through, because bestiality, a lot of people just write off as a terrible thing. Let's look at both sides. Let's say you fuck a cow, and that could happen. <laughs> you sound like a nutter. No, let, let's imagine you fuck a cow. You haven't actually harmed the cow. Cows are fucking enormous. <laughs> You're not going to trouble it with your tiny cock. <laughs> but, but, you know, but you've probably just stressed the animal. Daisy's probably thinking, what the fuck is he up to? <laughs> On the upside, though, you've had a whale of a time, and if you have a baby with a cow, it'll be a minor tour. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like Bully from Bullseye. <laughs> Just putting it into terms, he'll understand. <laughs> Any other ultimate sexual fancies? An amputee. An amputee. <laughs> it's not Paul McCartney, is that? I can't see. <laughs> yeah. Who's come the furthest? Did anyone come from, like, a long way away, overseas? Canvey or a... Island. Canvey Island? <laughs> Right, now, I know Canvey Island, so I happen to know that you've not come a long way from your home. You've just brought it with you. <laughs> Did you come with him? <laughs> no, good. Canvey Island's the furthest anyone came. Well, fuck you. <laughs> you were all in the area anyway, were you? What's that? <laughs> Was that Dover? <laughs> well, you were castrated before you got a chance to... <laughs> Right. <laughs> Were you worried about sounding silly, so you thought, well, I'll put on a ludicrous high-pitched voice? <laughs> that should sort things out, shouldn't it? <laughs> so you're a sailor, are you? <laughs> Imagine my surprise at your high-pitched voice. Any yes. Dad? <laughs> Your hair? What, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I like the Spice Girls as much as the next man, but... It's a... No, it's... Hmm. I can't help noticing that you've got a tattoo on your... A, well, it's your boob, isn't it, really? <laughs> It sort of draws the eye. What is that, exactly? It's a rose. On your... As if boobs aren't fun enough as they are. She thought, I'll tell you, I'll brighten these things up. No fella's going to like these. What do guys like? They like flowers, don't they? Yeah, I'll get a picture of a flower. Did you not think, what, what do you like? What kind of thing? You look like the sort of bloke that like cars and guns and tanks. Get a nice tattoo of a tank on your tip. Lovely. He could be, you know, and going, oh, is that a Sherman? <laughs> Where are you? It's not working, man. Give us a wave. Yeah, what do you do, sir? Telecoms. You, <laughs> you do telecoms? <laughs> what, what do you do? Do you...? I do you. I do you. <laughs> I do you telephone. <laughs> what, sorry? 
you build them in their work. <laughs> Ironically, you work in communications and can hardly... <laughs> ..can hardly string a fucking sentence together. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I do for a living. I think of little jokes in my head and then I tell them to you so that you'll like me. <laughs> Sounds a bit tragic when I say... <laughs> what was that? It's not working. <laughs> well, you can fuck off. <laughs> this is... What, sorry? I've got... I've got a big nose. Yeah, go on, once. Is it right if your girlfriend wants you to watch her pee? <laughs> she likes you watching her pee. Yeah, but you're trying to get me to watch her. She's like, no. So, sorry. <laughs> that's it. That's it. The question I get asked that every show. <laughs> it's weird that you would ask that. So, because she likes a lot of people to watch her pee. Um, is that your thing? You like people to watch you pee? <laughs> well, clearly, yes. <laughs> He didn't say that for no reason, did he? Do you remember earlier when you said he was a pedo for making you dress up as a schoolgirl? <laughs> I think it might be payback time. <laughs> but surely you could just dress her as a schoolgirl and have a do a wee on you. That's fine. <laughs> that plays into your whole pedo fantasy. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Apart from anyone with any sort of sense of taste and decency. <laughs> who are frankly horrified by you too. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. What, sorry? Southwell. Southwell? Yeah, definitely, I need a surname for this. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the register, don't worry about that. <laughs> so, and what is it about being watched pee that you enjoy? Well, just tell us, we're all interested to know. Well, you do, so... It's not like that. What is it like? Once you've, you know, once you've been with someone, there's a level of intimacy that suggests that you would be uh, able to pee in front of them or, or maybe shit on their chest. <laughs> but some people aren't like us, baby. <laughs> some people don't think in the way... They're closed-minded. They've got a sense of, I don't know, appropriate occasion. <laughs> It's all right, we're not taping this for... Oh, no, we are. <laughs> Lovely golden showers. <laughs> Any other thoughts? What car do I drive? I don't actually drive a car, sir. I roll in one. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah, with the bitches in the back, yeah! Any other questions, thoughts? What's your favourite type of cheese? What's my favourite type of cheese? <laughs> Knob. <laughs> Where's the best place you performed? The best place I've performed? I'd have to say in your girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much for watching that. If you could uh, like and subscribe, then uh, Daddy gets more money. So, like and subscribe.